Hey there folks, just a little update from the Oxventure merch store. Um, the new collectible figurines are available to pre-order right now and thank you so much to everyone who has. We have been blown away by the response, although there are still plenty of Egberts. Um, but yes, if you'd like to secure your Egbert or any of the other characters, if they're your favourite, that's, that's fine by me, uh, then head over to the merch store. There's a link in the description below. And also, if you pre-order a figurine now, you'll see there's a coupon code in the description as well, and that will net you 20% off other Oxventure merch in the store. So that's maps, pins, compasses, t-shirts, hoodies. So why not treat yourself to something now and a figurine for later? This episode of Oxventure is sponsored by Misty Mountain Gaming. Misty Mountain are the makers of some amazing high-quality dice and D&D accessories for your gaming needs. They have everything from acrylic, sharp edge, metal, stone and glass dice, all made to an incredible standard. If you're on the lookout for some gifts for the D&D fan in your life, look no further than Misty Mountain Gaming. Head to MistyMountainGaming.com or to the link in the description to take advantage of their buy two, get one free holiday special. Harris is missing. Uh, yes, did, did I not just say that? Not Harris. Sweet Harris. Sweet Harris. All right, don't go overboard, but it is unusual that he hasn't reported in. I'll always remember Harris's clearly defined features. Yep. And description. He was one of and the surname. Pal- he no, was wait, one of the pals in order. Yeah, he had that one mm-hmm. arm that was so much longer than the other. That's so right. That's, much that's Harris, all right. Much longer. <laughs> like five times Yeah, longer. trailed along behind him when yeah. he walked. Yeah. I'll always remember. And when he saluted, it snapped around him with you lethal he, force. You think he would salute with the other hand, but not our Harris. Not Harris. Not not Harris. Not He's a trier. Sweet Harris. Not the way he was raised. Where would, so Harris has not reported in. This is this is troubling. Yes. Shield. Where would where would Harris have gone to? Well, I told him to make a full survey of the city, so technically he could be anywhere. But I would imagine he's in the city. Uh, he's gone to. <laughs> <laughs> Try to hold right. it as long as I can. I imagine he's gone to uh, one of the areas of the city that was damaged to assess said damage yes. and report back to me Someone as I asked. Someone locate object on the odd sling that he carries to wrap his arm up in he doesn't <laughs> want it flailing around. Yes. I use locate object on the odd sling he carries around to stop his arm flailing around. Yes, fine. Uh, yeah, you, you, you get a ping. You're like, oh, he's sort of over that way. Okay. All right, well... You can sh- navigate to it. Shatter shield. We will go and check in on Harris, make sure that everything's okay. I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. If anything were to happen to Harris. He's hanging from his long arm off the side of Miss Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are coastal. Bungie. Help! It's <laughs> 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 getting caught yeah. in the wind. All right, lead on, Egbert, with your Harris radar. Yep. It's a forked twig. Yep, a forked oh. twig. Oh, he's like dousing for Harris. Yeah. Oh. I lead everyone with the forked twig mm-hmm. to Harris's location. Okay, sure. Um... You don't say it's tree PS or something. Just leave. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Look. I, I was about to ask, is it made of goats? Yes. What if we do all I mean, the puns before Meryl went to Get away your sister. I was going to angrily scream puns when we think of them. There are four children. They take turns to have the twig. It's goats. It's only a goat joke. I was doing a four kid joke. <laughs> so was I. None of these are jokes. Oh, goats. <laughs> yeah. Right, I thought you meant human children. I'm going to start doing this. <laughs> right, have we run Real end of term field. This is nothing. This is nothing. Okay. What about doing higher? <laughs> okay, okay. Is this anything? Stop! <laughs> you start to proceed uh, through Miss Mar. You kind of have to leave the, the, the room you're in. And you go down into sort of one of the winding streets um, where there are lots of people kind of like trying to salvage stuff from like buildings that have fallen down. Um, You uh, find other people just going about their business. Um, There's a small crowd gathered around and it seems like Richard actually, uh, who you uh, met in the the last session, is kind of there being like, it's not safe. We should all petition the the, the order to, to take us all safely somewhere else. I walk up and shove Richard over and I go, hey, haven't you heard the latest news? This my is safe again. That's right. Don't listen to this idiot. They've got a new dragon and he's going to keep your homes toasty warm. And then I do a spin and I point finger guns at Richard. If Richard's so smart, why is he on the floor? Yeah. 
Makes you think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this local citizen. Yeah. I like the cut of your jib. Yeah, well, you know, I, I like good sense when I hear it, yeah. Mr. Pirate. Put it right there. Charisma performance checks from both of you. <laughs> Immediately. 13 plus... Uh, 17. Um, okay. 14. Okay, the crowd is like, ooh, and they're, they're being suckered in by this, basically. Rich yeah. is there kind of sputtering, being like, but, but how do we know we Suck can even in. trust this dragon? We didn't even know there was a dragon until yesterday when it exploded out of the walls, making the building, the, the whole citadel, unsound. We're in danger, I tell you. Danger. We must leave. Living in the past, I am Richard. That's what I do. <laughs> We're in danger. We're in danger. That's what Richard sounds Charisma like. Charisma performance. <laughs> Charisma performance checks again. One. <laughs> <laughs> 16. Okay. Richard, we are coastal. <laughs> Your um Do you know what that means? Dob, you've overdone it. You know it's just seem cruel and unnecessary. And the oh. people are like, leave him alone! Oh man, I'm Yeah, leave him alone. <laughs> sorry. So I'm but so sorry, Richard. I've d I'll get this malefactor out of here, I say, and I grab Dob and I go, Dob, Dob we're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You proceed onward. Uh okay, there hearts is... and minds. Halfway there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You uh, push open a door into what just seems like a, a storeroom, um, and the the twig uh, is kind of like it's, it's um, vibrating. <laughs> Impossible. Try to make a U-turn. <laughs> 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 um, no, actually, it pipes up and says, uh, "Proceed onwards and down the stairs. Then your destination is on the right." The twig. Come. Sorry, the twig did that. Yeah, it did. Yep. Why have we not been using this amazing <laughs> twig before? Why, yeah. Why have I not used any of these amazing things I've got? I look at the little tiny map we used to get back to the gold. <laughs> yeah. Don't need this anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. If only I'd known about the dead guy in the lake, I could have done the cake creature. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we didn't. I didn't know didn't about the dead guy in the lake. It only works like for a kilometre. Neither do you. So. I hissed it in front of him. Yeah. yeah. No one just saying things. Sorry. You started talking to him. It's her shattered I, mind. I she still hasn't recovered. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Possibly, am I speaking at random because of flannery induced haze? I go down the steps and take a right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you see Harris. Harris uh, appears to be curled up asleep. His arm is sort of curled round him several times. <laughs> and ending up here. <sighs> yep. And there uh, he is. Harris, by God, sleeping on the job. I never thought I'd see the day for such a dedicated paladin as you. This is typical Harris, potentially. <laughs> Up to his old hijinks. It has not roused him at all. Oh, I'll give him a shake. Oh, I don't <laughs> kick him because he might die. That's not gross. Yeah. Uh, you give him a good shake, uh, and he kind of just like flops oh. around. Oh my god! Harris appears to be under the influence of some sort of sleeping draft or it, possibly spell. Prudence. Oh. Prudence. You would like to detect magic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no. There's nothing magical about this guy. He's just a corpse. <gasps> Oh, he's dead. Mm. He's dead. He's in a very the long deep sleep. sleep. <sighs> yeah, the deepest. Tired. You notice, <laughs> um, Prudence, uh, that uh, his throat has been cut. <gasps> oh, wow. Well, That'll do it. Oh. Uh, you're Not actually really standing in quite a large puddle of blood. Oh, okay. Yes, it, it is Harris, that, that too. That first. Yeah. It's, quite, it's quite dim in here. Like, oh, it's, okay. it's, quite, it's quite dingy. Okay. Yep, that's blood already. Oh, my God, there's been a murder of Harris. I speak with dead with Harris. Yeah, fair enough. Just a regular old speak with dead machine. He's he? real. Yeah, I've got, to, got a couple more goes of it. <laughs> He's recently deceased, right? Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. <gasps> this is going to sound horrible. Yeah, it's going to be awful. Uh, Have we all ready for this? What if we seal up the slash across his throat so if, he can. What if I seal up his like windpipes so normally? Oh, yeah, I, I tie his arm around his slash oh, wind no. and bind <laughs> it to pull it tight. Oh, God. He doesn't need to breathe anymore. Yeah, but he, he needs, he needs to speak. air to. <laughs> Does he? I mean, how else is a dead person going to speak except tele- tele- make sounds? Is it telepathic? Lungs and, yeah. It needs to force you know, air out. Know. Well, let's find out. How are we talking to you, Harris? Is it telepathically or are your lungs actually, you know, moving air in it's and out? It's one of your five questions. You tell me, but I'm the one who says. I didn't get any of that. I didn't get any of that. <laughs> but it was probably just something cryptic and dead. Yeah. Harris, who <laughs> killed you? Ah, uh, jackal. A jackal. A jackal seems unlikely. His throat's been cut. It hasn't been. I I would like to look at the throat. throat if I wounds. accidentally cut my own throat, I'd like say a... a jackal did it as well. <laughs> Does it look like the wound of a blade or like from an animal? Blade. 
Very clean edges, very sharp is knife. It, is a jackal a kind of assassin that we don't know about? Wait. Second what? question, is a jackal oh. a kind of assassin we don't know about? Third question, actually. Ah, I don't understand. Mm. From my knowledge of roguish institutions, have I ever heard of a group called the Jackals? Make me a wisdom insight check. Mm. You're seeing this. Is there I'm another seeing 20? a 20. Wow. Whoa. Definitively not. Nice. No, Definitively not, dice. no. I've never heard of the Jackals. Um, you are confident they are not a thing. Hmm. Right. Wow. Wild. Okay. So Maybe there's a knife wheels in Jackal. Could what? Jackal mean something else? Like wolf, hyena. But wasn't he just like bad Jack at identifying Darkfall? dog things. Jack Dark. Wasn't it Jack Jack, Jack Dark? Or yeah, his but name he got was? quite profoundly killed. By got us. quite profoundly naked as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but it like, could be someone taking up his mantle. I, I don't took know. up his mantle. I say, swinging my boots. Onto yeah, the yeah, the boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, those aren't quite mantle. They look nice on a mantle. I mantle over an object. <laughs> Dex acrobatics. And handle please. humanity. Uh, it's a. 14 plus 4, 18. Good mantle. That's cool. Harris. Taking up the mantle. <laughs> How long ago were you killed? My least favourite thing about this spell is trying to make it sound cryptic every single time. <laughs> about uh, 16 hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Are okay. you dead again? You can, yeah, you can, spend, yeah, you can yeah. spend two questions and make it uncryptic. So what are we <laughs> <laughs> Normally only give you three because we sort of misremembered it once and that just seemed more appropriate. Yeah, yeah, three is. Okay. Okay. We need to look at the crime scene. Yeah, let's Yes. Yes. All right. I activate detective vision. Which okay. is what I call my eyes. <laughs> and I look around the room. Uh is there any sign of a, a murder weapon? Uh any sign of a struggle? What kind of a room is this? What kind of a room are we in even? It is a similar kind of storeroom. It's actually been used to to house a lot of um Bottles, um, some barrels of things. Uh, some of the bottles have shatters um, mm, on the floor. Um, and there is a big crack in the wall. So there is some structural damage here. Um, but uh, maybe an intelligence investigation check, please, um. to find out the rest. <laughs> the smashed wine would also I mean, you know, you, you perhaps were less likely to spot a pool of blood. Nine. Nine. Fifteen. Fifteen. Four. Four. Nineteen. Eighteen. Okay. but you discover... Uh, wine. <laughs> you discover delicious wine. Delicious pool of wine. Yeah, you were, you were right there before me, yeah. Delicious, <laughs> oh, delicious no. pools of wine. It's got a little coppery Crimson taste Crimson copper it, tasting not, wine. I don't dislike it. Okay, great. Egbert's <laughs> kind of getting in on that. Seal Gaiman's having a go as well. Little seal. Boom. Blah, blah. <laughs> it's getting hammered. Not not overly impressive, was it? Nine. Okay, nine. You are certain that there is a dead man in this room. <laughs> Prudence, you see absolutely no sign of a struggle whatsoever. Mm. In fact, I'm going to say you can intuit the position he was placed in. Okay. Rather, the position in which you found him, he wasn't placed. Nobody arranged him that way. Oh, so he had his throat cut while he slept. He lies where he fell. Seems to be. Whoa. Yes. It's probably someone in the citadel making their way somewhere else, right? Maybe? An insider. Well, what did you two with your high teen scheme? <laughs> <laughs> what was my tea high teen gleam? <laughs> There's a murder weapon. <gasps> it has been left there. Um, it appears that his throat was cut with his own blade. <gasps> Whoa. I know. Spooky. Spooky. Do not like it. Mm. Okay. Uh, all right, well, let's let's dust this for prints. Is that a thing? Is there an index of... No? <laughs> no. I think Miss Meyer. No social <laughs> crimes database. Miss Meyer doesn't have a key right. or a print. Well, let's, let's get it going then. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to get it looking nice for the prints. We don't need, <laughs> yeah, to, we don't need to dust it. Yeah, so. that's canonically what dusting for prints means. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I give it a little go over anyway in case the prints does come this way. <laughs> we all want to impress the prints. Absolutely. Yeah. I do a little light dusting just mm -hmm. in case the prints turn up. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we put all this together, 
what's ha- what's happened? Harris was waving his knife around with his big stupid arm, and he cut his own throat. <laughs> yeah, that does Harris seem was practicing likely. his knife tricks. Four. <laughs> 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 yep. no, it's, it's, someone came across <laughs> Harris. There was no struggle. Did you? Okay, say? okay. We're missing something. Mm-hmm. What adjoins this room? Mm-hmm. Where was Harris? What was Harris doing down here? Was Harris guarding? He was taking a survey of the damage done to the yeah. citadel. And as you can see, there's a big crack. There's a big here, crack. So. Mm. How Harris. big is the crack? It's pretty big. Like, big enough that Dob should have noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of faces out onto like the... Jaggedy, jaggedy bit, like about that thick and yeah. about that long. And then jaggedy bit, jaggedy bit, and then it forks. Okay. So is the crack big enough for someone to fit through? Do we think possibly Harris's killer came through this crack? Can I check the crack for signs of ingress? Stick your head in the crack. Stick my head in the crack. If it's oh, big I'm enough. I'm a bit more CSI. Make me an intelligence investigation check, please. Zoom it in. Two. Two. <laughs> Plus. Oh. Dob remains stuck in the crack Five, for the rest of the adventure. Um, a human couldn't get through there. Like a, a, It's not big enough for a person or even a child. All right. It's pretty, so, pretty slim crack. Okay. Someone must have just come in while Harris was investigating the crack, mm. cut his throat, and then been on their merry way. Mm. But why would they do that? I don't know. Are there any... Did Harris... Is there Harris's report that he was making? Is it still on him? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'd like to study that and see if there's any yeah. findings on there that would lead to someone wanting to bump Harris off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, does, the, does the writing just tail off at any point? <laughs> Does he write R? <laughs> I think I hear something. But mm. dot, yeah, I hear the approaching footsteps of <laughs> yeah. name. Um, so the uh, it isn't Arg and mm. you know a, tra- a trail off or or the name of the assailant, but uh, the entry does finish mid sentence. Um, uh, he is describing the the room like you know being like mm-hmm. upper east quadrant, um, yeah. you know storeroom, structural damage to walls. Um, he was a fair way through his investigation and flipping through it. The overall, um, the overall gist is that it's not that bad. Like, obviously, he, he starts with the massive chunks of missing wall, and there's another bit where he's like, hey, missing chunk of wall, blah, blah, blah. But largely speaking, it's pretty sound. So, mm, whoever okay. wanted Harris dead didn't want this info getting out. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe one of the group who was Richard. like, "Let's leave Richard." Richard, mm-hmm. who was like, "Let's definitely leave Mistmeyer." Yeah, Richard seemed to be pretty bloody keen to get people. To we should out. have killed Richard when we had the <laughs> chance. <laughs> we should have kicked him hard. Okay, I'd like to. Yeah, I'd like to see what Richard makes of this. So either someone was targeting Harris, or. I guess it's also possible that this is just like an assassin making their way through and, and, ha- and unfortunately happened upon Harris. Yeah. And had to get- but if it was an assassin, I don't think they would have used his own sword. I think this looks like an opportunity attack. As opposed, like if, it was, if it was an assassin, surely they'd use like their own blade. They'd use a better means of hiding that they were assassinated, perhaps. Like sure. this seems like an opportunistic yeah. thing. I mean, d- um, didn't Harris like have his arm wrapped around him? Yeah, that's just how he yeah. sleeps. Yeah, yeah, so he was asleep. It was just someone who saw that maybe, like... Why was Harris taking a nap in the middle of I, writing a report? I don't know, <laughs> but, like... God's sleepy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's very boring. No, it I, takes I, a lot of calories to operate that arm. But, like, I... Yeah, I... I <laughs> Ran out of steam. It happens to the I, best of us. I, yeah, I, I, I thought from people's investigations that, like, he wasn't arranged that way. No. So he was had his arm wrapped up and was in a sleeping position mm-hmm. when he was killed, mm-hmm. which means like someone came along, maybe read half of his report. Um, maybe hey, maybe like it's like not finished because someone smudged it or tried to erase something, saying this is perfectly fine and we shouldn't have to leave. I still got the gist of that from reading the report. Why don't we go and report yeah. back to Shattershield and see if, if Shattershield's still alive ideas. with an assassin within the world? Oh my god, <laughs> we have to race back and protect Sweet Shattershield. Mm-hmm. Let's race back and protect Sweet Shattershield. Okay, dokie. Yeah, you go back to the mess hall, which is. Uh... Is it a mess? <laughs> Harris is dead. <laughs> Shatter Shield. Harris is dead. Who huh? could is be it, next? Is everyone alive here? Is everyone alive? What? Shatter Shield. Excuse me. Live ye. Uh. Oh, he's been drugged. Oh. He's sleepy like Harris sleepy. was. Sleepy like Harris. Oh, Too no. late for him. Hmm? Give him an emetic. I must have dropped off. A powerful Sorry. syrup of Ipecac. I'm awake and fine. I just oh. nodded off. I see. Um, what were you saying? Harris. What? what where is he? What he about him? He was killed in his dead. sleep. Dead. What? He's dead. 
Harris is dead. Harris dead. was sleeping on the job. So are you. It's the now. more important. I'm uh, technically I'm off duty. Right. But and also but, the most important thing is that he's dead. Well, how? Dead how? Slashed. What? Throat in slit. the throat. Slain. Slain. Slain with his own sword. Yes. Now you see the truth of it. How could this come to pass? Who would do such a thing? Does the name of the jackal mean anything to you, Tash- Chattershew? No. I can't hmm. say it does. If you imagine synonyms for jackal, do any of them mean anything to you, Chattershew? Hyenas. Wolves. Hyenas. Wolves. Cougars, panthers. Very oh. cross dogs. Cross dog. Do you know of an assassin called the Cross Dog? No. There was one called Up Dog. What is... No, no. Oh, yeah, no, that wouldn't work, because the normal question would be, who is Up Dog? Not much, who's up with you? (laughs) Shattershield got you. (laughs) Uh, No, jackal, wolf, nothing. I take Shattershield's drinking goblet Mm -hmm. and give it a sniff. Mm -hmm. Does Uh, it smell suspect? Wisdom perception check, por favor. Uh, that's 19 plus 2, that's 21. Okay, uh, Shattershield is a very straight-laced man. Right. And that is a boring cup of water. Ah! Absolutely hmm. nothing going on in it. Shattershield, we discovered Harris's report. Having given it a quick look over, it seems as if uh, the report was that the damage to the Citadel isn't actually all that bad. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, Tremendous. but... That's what we thought. It occurs to us that someone might be trying to stop this information from getting to the people so that they can move everyone out of Mistmire. Is there anyone that you've come across during your time here who you think would stoop to murder? Are there any council members who have, who have vociferously advocated for, for, for leaving this man? Yeah, maybe with names like Liam Jackal. <laughs> no, again, Jackal isn't really giving me anything. I but, see. Sure. Well, I don't know. I mean, the people are, are free to come and go as, as they desire. Uh, I don't see why it would matter to anyone what the others do. If they want to go, they can go. If they want to stay, they can stay. Wants people to go, maybe, so that he can buy up all the real estate for cheap. Yeah. Those I think this is agents. a property development Could conspiracy. Could be a property development conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first. I, 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 I still want to know why Harris was asleep when he was murdered. Yes. This seems important. Do you remember the water supply? There was like a well, right? Miss Meyer had a... Yeah. Mm. Yes. Jack Darkfall was trying to poison a it prominent with a well. Yes. Yes, the well. I can show it to you if you like. Can we check it? Yes. We know where it is, Shattershield. We've been here before. All right. We snuck in easily. (laughs) What? That's alarming. (laughs) (laughs) Well, how? There's clearly a security concern. I mean, apart from the massive hole in the... the We're not in trouble anymore. There's clearly a statute of limitations, so it's fine. Definitely. Yeah, Yeah, it's fine. I would tell you, Shattershield, I genuinely don't remember. We either exploded (laughs) our way in on a shield or possibly a seahorse costume. We came in through the sewers. Really? Yeah, and I think I cast water breathing on everyone so we could go up through the well, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I go and check the well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can uh, go in our right. old stomping ground. I remember it so well. Just a cursory check. Yep. Just for my peace of mind. Uh, I give it a visual inspection. I detect magic on the well. Okay. I, I rub a little sniff of the water it. on my gums. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to make you roll for that. Yeah, just it's pure fine. ordinary boring, boring Oh, it's more boring juice. water. All right, <laughs> fine. Mmm, um, delicious, he says, helping himself to, to a fresh dipper. I w- I'm mm. interested in this Richard. I think he's a, he's yeah, a suspicious think... character. Should we go and shake him down? Yeah. Who's There's Richard? A, Richard? The Richard, the guy who came in earlier asking to petition you about the city, do you remember? Oh, the scrawny the, fellow. The wretched fellow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he seems very keen, keen on, on getting everyone moving out of the city. Richard. Mm. And this well, info. Richard. Nice. Yeah, cheers. Up top. If you're quite finished. <laughs> this info could undermine his plan to get everyone out of Mistmire. Maybe he's started Richardville down the street and he needs everyone to move in there and that's why he wants everyone out of Mistmire. Good luck. Richardville? Yeah. Doesn't even have a dragon under it. Maybe he does. Maybe it is coastal though. It is coastal. <laughs> hmm. All right, well, I suppose we can go try and find him. I well, mean, we just... Wait, mm-hmm. maybe it would be more of a power move if we had Richard summon tents. <laughs> oh... Well, I think it might be more interesting to observe Richard and see yeah. what he does yes. in secret. Let's follow Richard secretly. Yeah. I would like to stealthily I'll just prop up the old sneaking hood. All right. <laughs> Make me an intelligence investigation check to try and find Richard. Oh, dear. <laughs> Nine. You find him not. You do not find Richard. 
He is not where he was before. Can I cast locate creature? Can I cast locate I Richard? So do you need anything <laughs> of Richard's or uh, for kid twig? Describe a name or uh, describe or name a creature that is familiar to you, and you sense the direction of that creature's location. So I know what he looks like. So, so you know the vague direction he's he's going in. Yeah, the scrawny right. one. Where is he? <laughs> Hey, oh, magic brain! Hi. The scrawny one. Where is he, huh? Yeah. He's that way. You okay. can see you've got you've got a vague ping. Um, strange though. Seems to be moving quite fast for someone who's in a city. Mm-hmm. Like you kind of like, like in your cone of vision. So like, <laughs> seems to be pinging about quite quick. Oh, which is rumbling around, Miss Meyer. All right, um, I, let's move to where Richard will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, partner, don't pass to where they are, yeah. where they're going. Um, I have a horrible, well, you, you know, you said jackal. What if this is a, a wild shape using person who can get around real oh, quick as a dog? They're the worst. Oh. <laughs> what if Richard is a druid? My worst fears have been realized. <laughs> 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 a druid has loosed in mis- loose in Mistmire. Well, if we if we split up, we could intercept him maybe because mm. he's going it, all over. Can the I see like the little? Is there a pattern to the pings, or is he, is he spelling going out the word Richard? <laughs> 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 he's writing a confession. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Okay. Um, I don't think we should split up because we like no, we need Merylwen, right? Merylwen's the only one who has a, a bead mm. on Richard. I think just, let's just make our best guess. Just rush to Richard's possible like location. We move to intercept Richard. Okay. Mm. The ground starts shaking underneath Mistmire. Like, it's a tremor. It's a pretty big one. Um, All that fracking. And you can hear uh, a, a tremendous amount of noise coming from below the city, and it sounds like the roaring of a dragon. Mm. You hear echoing off the, the sort of the foothills, not the foothills, um, it's just echoing around the general area off the walls of Mistmire. You hear a voice go, Excuse me, please, I want to talk to somebody. Oh. <laughs> Okay, it's I good. think we need to go talk to this. Our dragon tenant. Dragon. Okay, now I want to split to talk the party. To the <laughs> 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 All right, right. Dobbs, go and see what he wants. Let's you're the landlord. You just said split the party. Yeah. I assume you mean you want to go down you're the wrong the one. You're yeah, the one who has a contract with the well, dragon. You're the one who wants to get killed all the time. So how about do it now with the dragon? <laughs> <laughs> not very happy. You hear like a... <laughs> and like oh, a, the turret of a building kind of just... Uh, hey, okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Geo, Geo, Geo. Oh, contract. He's going to give us a bad review on Lair B&B. G- oh, God. <laughs> That's nothing. Geo, <laughs> Geo, my friend, what's wrong? I quite like that one. Thank you. So are you, are you you're heading down to his... Um, yes. Okay, are you all going down or...? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, hello. I want to report a problem. Uh, it seems you've reneged on uh, the deal we had. What? So in, which part? In which way, sorry? Well, it's just that I was... Um, I was promised uh, 30 head of cattle. Of a cattle yeah. And uh, why are they not here? Ah. Oh, yes. We have. We need to get that set up. Well, yep. somebody yep. told me that they were already here. And they, if I wanted to eat them, I could just go outside of my cave and they're in a pen. Yeah, um, that, I but thought that was the Follow idea. me a second. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of goes outside. There's an empty pen. What's this? <laughs> oh no, the cattle have escaped. What's yeah. the situation with the pen? Uh, did the cattle escape or have they been slaughtered? The pen is completely empty. It's okay. gate open. Okay, all right. And you can say, like, I can see there's one of them over there. I'm sure I could go hunt it, but like. I look at the thing he's pointing to. But that's not the point. There's a cow, it? like, mm-hmm. way over there. I'd be like, no, it's not the yeah, point. You What's... shouldn't have to put up with this. I'm not going to yeah. order food into my house and then take it on a walk and eat yeah. it in the park. Don't say deliver moo. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Stop using me to say your puns. Own it. Own it, Egbert. Own your puns. Don't. That <laughs> Disown your puns. Disown, <laughs> Renounce thy yeah. puns. Plausible deniability. That was part can of my palate. I'm a mover. <laughs> can I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, just a saying, right. like. Can I go look at the cow that's wandering around? Yeah, it's quite a long way away. Do you want to go chase it down? 
I want to chase it down. Okay. Tackle it, it to the ground. Jacob, misty step over to that cow and grab it. We're working How many on feet away was it? We've got a druid theory. How far we should be investigating step? lone animals. What if that cow's Way not really a cow? Enough. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'd like a powerful to druid. Yeah. investigate any like footprints around the gate. See if any match Can you ask anything. the cow what happened? Yeah, the cow is a druid. I tackle the cow. <laughs> run it. Run at it. Okay. We're on the hunt for a druid, we think. Okay. Yeah, no, I Here can, is a mysterious can, cow by itself. I can cast ca- speak with animals while also casting like a creature. So I'll, I'll chat to the cow. And the cow is, the cow is miles way away. over there. Way so over. you're going to oh, need right. to roll strength athletics oh, to, to get over there and try and dump tackle a cow. <laughs> What's that say, Marwin? Oh, that's a critical 20. Okay, you like. Nat 20. You full on like body this cow. Like you grab <laughs> it around the, the horses and just like. Yeah. <laughs> you like slam it into the ground. Yes. Give up your secrets, cow. Yeah. I me- message Meryl when. Beep, 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 beep. Mm. Meryl when. How do you make a druid turn back into their oh. real form? If it loses all its hit if points. You, yeah, lose it all its hit points, so you have to kill the cow, sorry. Mm. Strangle it. You can knock it out. That's the same as reducing it to... Yeah. Can you cast sleep you on it? Kill it. Mm. Punch the cow 30 times. You've got to hit, you've got to reach zero health, yes. basically. You know, make sure that we don't look very healthy. Well, I'm grappling. Prudence, can you Eldritch Blast this cow? <laughs> 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 all right, put your head down, though. <laughs> I, blo- I Eldritch Blaster. Is it less than 120? Wait, no. You're all going to feel yeah. very oh, foolish. Oh, I've got range and then some. You're going <laughs> to feel very foolish when there's a, a druid. Pops out. Pops out. I Eldritch Blast the cow. Not for the first time this season. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, from right. range. Okay. So I'm reduced. looking out for a vulture. <laughs> see vulture. Oh all right, so a critical 20. <laughs> yes. Oh, and then a less critical 7. Yeah, there okay, we go. Okay, so one's a miss. Yeah. Uh, so You're a wide miss, I imagine. Well, let's see. I'm going to roll... I'm gonna roll a d6. If it's odd, it doesn't hit Dob. If it's even, it hits Dob. That's even. You uh, so you you what smash the cow with yeah. one. You smash Dob yeah. with another. Oh. Oh. Um, so <laughs> roll me the damage on the first one. We're gonna double it. Okay. Well, we'll double the dice. Oh, so the first crit. one hit the second one, missed and hit Dob instead. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I see. All right. Occupational hazard. Okay, that's uh, thirteen and a oh thirteen again. Okay, so we've got <laughs> <laughs> uh, two thirteens. One of those is doubled. Is that including your modifier? Yes. Okay, so uh, the cow takes twenty six damage. Uh, Dob, you're going to take thirteen. Uh, thirteen uh, agonizing damage. A Hold small, on, Dob. A small price to pay. Hold on. To uh, reveal this trick. Mechanically, are food. you just trying to reduce this thing's <laughs> hit points? Are you trying to are you trying to kill it, or are you just trying to like? If I can knock it out by blasting it with Eldritch Magic, then yeah, sure. You've easily done enough damage to explode it. Oh, okay. Do you want to have no, it? Oh, no, I went okay. for its hooves. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's, it's, you blast off its hooves. I blast it its hooves. The tube pops off. <laughs> its hit points reach zero and it's kind okay. of flops over. Does it reveal itself to be a powerful druid? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've got an unconscious We're making cow. great progress. Great, great progress. <laughs> hey. I cast cure wounds on the cow. It's a bit late. Well, very <laughs> good, because I was about to make my first death save. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Giovanni uh, to eat Meryl when. He's yeah, they, he's he's been, all we just, oh, he's been yeah. toasted now. He's nice and fresh. Well, we can placate Giovanni. He's, that unconscious. smells pretty good. Okay, it's, un- it's unconscious, so I'll... Bring I'm it like, back, Dob. You know, yeah, Feed it to Gio. Just drag that poor thing no way. back here. Dob's a vegetarian. I'm not going to... Get involved in feeding a cow to a dragon. The dragon you come just over... exploded it. No, the dragon's a carnivore. Out. The dragon can come over here and get it. If it was, I'm going to, I'm not going to stop the dragon, but I'm not going to. He was very clear about not wanting to go and get. All right. It. Well, I walk away from the unconscious cow then. All right. Well, so I can't do this on my own. Someone give me a hand. All right. I'll have you lift the cow in. Oh. <laughs> Who will help you, cow? <laughs> <Strength hunter. laughs> <laughs> it was a soldier of Rome. <laughs> Inspiration five times. <laughs> right. Now I'm in the my, cow corpse. Now Reverend in my mind we're in the Colosseum. The Nine. I got another twenty. Okay. Uh, Egbert just goes to li- tries to lift the entire cow solely with his back. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, uh, 
Crank. 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 No one's quite sure how, you're not even quite sure how you do it. It's kind of like a, it's a light as a feather, stiff as a board kind of deal. You just mm-hmm. pick up a cow with it. There's ease. a pressure point on the back of the cow that if you strike it exactly, um, the cow becomes a human fold, 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 <laughs> into a backpack. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> You've yeah. just got a, a cube of cow. Yeah. Nice. I'm just tossing that up and down. I walk back to Geo and then I... There you go. Um, we'll find the others for you, but this should keep you going. <laughs> He <laughs> <laughs> through several of his hooves and keels over. Um, Gia goes, okay, this is this is a bit more like it. Yeah, I'm we'll gonna find s- the others. Yeah, all right, and I'm not gonna destroy your, uh, your this uh, Mister Maya. Yeah, ideally. Okay, ideally. great. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, eats the cow. Cool. I love Gia. I love Gia too. Can yeah, we yeah. see aside the um, the cattle pen a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, traces or yeah. tracks or it's, it's trails. clearly it's, it's part of house, it's so. part of this ongoing plan. They wanted to make the dragon angry so it would smash up Mistmire Someone's, and people yeah. would leave. They Sabotaging want people out of the Mistmire. city. Yes, okay. we know Richard is whizzing sense. around the place at like two hundred miles an hour. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Richard is somehow involved. Intelligence investigation, please. Come on, Prue. Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is a mere five fourteen. The only. Footprints you see are those of the uh, the ox venturers. Mm. Well, okay, so you've got there's a lot of like hoof prints from cows coming into a pen, mm-hmm. um, and you see one set of footprints that's like alongside the the footprints going into the pen um, that then lead away back to the city. So clearly, whatever um, shepherd, I suppose, is it a shepherd if it's cows? Uh, I think it's a cowboy. Rancher, yeah. Uh, some sort of cowboy. <laughs> Led them there. Uh, and then the only other f- uh, footprints are yours. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I turn into a bird. I still think we need to catch up with this, Richard. Yeah, yeah, we've dealt with the, let's, the let's, geo problem. Let's, let's yeah. keep having a look around. Well, yeah. Where, like, I'd like to head towards the, the most recent place that they've popped up. Okay, yeah, 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 you can do that. If we go to all of the places that Richard has been, if we, even if we can't catch Richard, we might be able to figure out where Richard together is going his next. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You can head towards his latest location. Can I just ask where the egg is right now? You know that egg that we're... Oh, the golden egg. golden egg, yeah. Yes. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's safe. Okay, it's <laughs> right. Cool. Yeah, I mean, um, so, you know, when you came to the Sistel Shastri, it was like, going to give you somewhere where you can put the eggs where you feel safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I think they're just in your chambers, right? Right. Okay. Uh, no, those are fine. Those are safe. Yeah. Okay. You've got your lovely little apartments mm. on which you did just all checking. that skullduggery. Just mm-hmm. checking. Because when that dragon comes back, we're going to have a... going to find a new place for this egg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you find... You Basically, you start heading toward Richard. Richard starts stop moving around. Oh. He stopped. Okay. Um, Get him. Quick, before he starts again. He's, in fact, sat on a bench. Just sat in the street. He's eating an apple. Mm-hmm. What's your game, Richard? What are you talking about? Why are you whizzing around the place at top speed? What? What's that all about? We've, Look, we've, we've seen, seen you. you. Yeah, that's what? right. I'm just a malnourished commoner. Mm, malnourished. Yeah, malnourished. look at me. I'm all indeed. sticks and bones. Bro, bro, Ed, but when, when you do like intimidation or cone of truth, this might be cone good. Cone of truth. <laughs> Zone of truth. I like that. It's a cone. cone of truth is what I put on my dog after it's <laughs> yeah. to stop it licking its stitches. But it comes out in a cone, so that's what I call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, cone, the cone zone. Uh, I can. Um, yeah, the cone of truth is actually a, a tr- sphere of truth. <laughs> right. The zone of truth is spherical in nature. I'm sorry, he hardly ever uses it. I'm sorry that I get it wrong. <laughs> no one knows what I can do. Uh, he has to be willing to. He has to be willing to. Um, willing to speak the truth. Us, to speak then the what's truth. the point, what's of, the point, point of, of the truth? Then. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely. I feel this way about all my. I feel this way about all my. Spells. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's yeah, not a right. super interrogation spell. <laughs> oh. Be right. Okay. Um, I grab him around the throat and say, "Tell me what the hell's going on." Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. I produce a conical blade from my sheath, which I call the cone of truth. <laughs> yeah. A conical blade. Yeah. Like, it's it's like it's like it flare out or flare in? Yeah. Flares to a point. Oh, okay. I'm imagining I imagine like say, a megaphone, yeah. but with a very sharp, sharp edge. edge. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, oh, say hello horrible. to my friend, the Cone of Truth. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tell us what you've been up to, Richard. Make me, uh, this is both of your charisma intimidation check. Please. <laughs> that is a 16. 16. <laughs> 
I haven't been up to anything. <laughs> yeah. Why are you laughing then? Because I'm nervous. Because it's some sort of weird blade. Yeah, it's conical. <laughs> Never seen one of these before, have you? No. I want to walk up and pull the apple out of it, Richard's hand. Yeah, ah. and then I impale the apple with the cone of truth. I'm already malnourished. Stop it. <laughs> Is there anything about this apple? Anything weird? I'll take a bite of it. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> uh, maybe it was in perception check. Is there anything weird? Eats it before he gets Oh, uh, it's nine. It's really poisoned. No. Oh. It's just an apple. <laughs> Richard, what, is, what does jackal mean to you, Richard? What? Jackal. What do you... Spill. Mm, jackal. What comes to mind? Free association. Uh, the, jackal. Uh, J-A-K-U-L, Richard. <laughs> aren't they those, those those little dog things, aren't they? Richard, like you seem very keen to get everyone to leave Miss Smile. Yeah, then all, all of a sudden... The paladin doing a survey of the city who found that it's actually not that badly structurally damaged turns up dead. What? Then the food, the cattle for the dragon who lives under Mistmire, went missing. When we say our plan oh. out loud, it sounds bonkers. <laughs> well, this sounds like a wild say, speculation. When we say our theory out loud. It sounds it like the uh, Order of the Dragon Doors t- doing a terrible job. Oh, does it, Richard? I suppose you think everyone should leave, do you? I suppose so, yes. Then why are you still here, Richard? Because I'm, frankly, I haven't got enough numbers to leave where I'll feel safe. Look at me. Oh, is it a li- nearby place called Richardville? What? <laughs> no, it's called Barrow Springs. It's oh, just it's across the causeway. I see. Why were you moving so quickly? We saw you doing it. Yeah. What? I've been sat here having an apple. You were but I, teleporting. I, is your magic spell on the face? Can't do locate creature now. Um, well, okay, I ju- well I, I, it's a do you get a it's ping a of this hour, Richard? It's a one hour spell. Okay, good. Well, good. and it's still going. It's still going. So uh, can I check what, Are you what is Richard lighting right up? Uh, yeah, Richard's there. You like, found Richard. I was like, but you, Richard. you've been jumping around. He's been around. What are you talking in about? My... I go through Richard's pockets. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. You find an apple core. I eat it. <laughs> uh, and a couple of copper pieces. You eat those. <laughs> oh, we're off now. Three bulbs of garlic, <laughs> a handful of saltpeter, a live frog, a live frog. That's it. Okay. okay. Uh, what? What's gone? Your spell is defective, Merwin. Yeah, Merwin. <laughs> Explain it. What are you, Richard? A very powerful. Do you, do you have Richard. a twin? No. What? What you? You've been like ping ponging all over. No, I haven't. On on my radar, you have. What's radar? <laughs> Prudence. Well, yes. like there's this. Don't you try and explain radar? Rays. No. <laughs> and they go da 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 da. Okay. No, you're not doing it very ah. funny. I was trying to make it. No, I'm joking. Make sense again. No, it's good. No, it worked. It worked. Uh, yes, stop. Prudence. Can can you cast detect magic on one of your magic books? I just want to see if magic is working. You know when you're trying to like diagnose a problem. Okay, you want me to do a, a sort of diagnostic? Yeah, I just want to check that magic still works. Okay, I cast detect magic on the general area, including my books, including <laughs> Richard, including the yeah. What do they the, call Fris- the... Frisky in the darkness? They're Frisky. super. Yeah, magical, right? I mean, yeah, they detect be... magic would find a magic lot of... everywhere. Yeah. 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 Um, working so, fine. No ping off Richard. Doesn't seem to be magic. Okay. Uh, it's been but a while the, since the normal magical things. Yeah. Uh, normal magical things. Normal magical things. My book there. babies are as magical as ever, and I'm obviously very magical, as is pretty much everyone as here. As is Corazon. And, but, yeah, as yeah. is Corazon. Powerful, Powerful wizard. Powerful wizard Corazon. Um, Egbert, can I have a wisdom saving throw, please? Oh no! I mean, you can. Oh, it's 16 minus 1 is 15. Okay. That's about as well as that was ever going to go. Magic appears to be working correctly. Okay. Except for Merylwyn's def- de- defective, defective spell. spell. <laughs> you get your money back on that one, Merylwyn. That Merylwyn's one spells normally work great. Yeah. What's going on? Detect creature. Can someone put me down, please? Let's keep I'll him put, under I'll observation. Put you, down, all right. you can put him down. <laughs> put you down with the cone of truth. <laughs> no, I didn't mean like that. I mean, can you set me back down on my feet, please? All right, I'm going to put him back down on his feet. <laughs> well, now what? You stay put. Great question. Yeah. Well, now we watch you to see if you go... <laughs> 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 I am so out of ideas. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm stumped. 
There's been one murder and a few cattle have gone missing. Maybe it's not that big a deal. <laughs> Maybe life is just full of some mysteries and we just... Screws fall pres- out. Yeah. The world's an imperfect place. Let's proceed. Yeah. <laughs> Cattle go missing. We never find out what happens to all the Harrises. Season over. All right. I mean, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good? I can go? No, Richard. You uh, can't no, go. Richard can go. <laughs> Richard, no, Richard, Richard, can, is... no, Richard can absolutely go. Okay, fine. Uh, He's putting up his hood so Richard can go. He can absolutely go. Richard, please. You, you run along, You run along, Richard. Richard. Okay. Fast as you like. He... We're not a watching tail, you. A tail he pads off and uh, goes around a corner. Stealthy. Make me a dex stealth check, please. Uh, it's a 14 plus 7. 21. Mm. Mm. Is that him revving his motorbike? <laughs> 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 okay, two things happen. Number one, Meryl went, uh, it goes around the corner, and then there's a <laughs> on your uh, radar. Um, mm. Corazon, you kind of sneak up to the um, the uh, to the to corner, and you see Richard sort of start pacing, and then he starts speeding up. And then that guy just <laughs> turns into a jackal and runs away. Oh! 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 I run back around the corner and go, he's a bloody jackal! Oh! I knew it! Man! He's a bloody druid wild shaped jackalman. Okay, how far away is he now? So he's like more than 60 foot away by now. How is he not it's almost magic? Like, That's like a werewolf or something. Does that exactly be 60 feet? <laughs> is he right. like a were jackal? Merrill. Like GD jackal. I think it's time to like shoot one of your sweet arrows. Yeah, he's That's... not in view though, is he? No, he's off. He's off. You know well, where he is. Fire up away. in the air, knowing where it'll land. Ah. Uh, I could do. Go for it. Yeah. Summon all of your power. But if I do it wrong, we're in a busy city. I don't want to accidentally hit someone. That'll look bad uh, on us. Well, we? they will. Well, only if they trace the arrow back to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. You hand sign all of them. Okay, fine. It's practically yeah. a victimless crime, unless there's a victim, in which case, hopefully, it's a hard to trace crime. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to try and cast Long Strider on myself. Okay. And try and catch up with him a little bit. All right, make me a strength athletics check, please. We could grease Meryl when to give her the best chance. Mm. 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 I grease Meryl when to give her the best chance. Okay, yep. Okay, it's 17. Uh, mm-mm. <sighs> that dude's gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Long Strider makes you just jog slightly, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, a yeah, it's one of those ones that sounds <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Um, there okay. is a tremor underneath your feet. Oh, is it? Hello, yeah. hello. Oh, God. Could <laughs> somebody come and talk to uh, to, to, to Geothermal, please? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Turn to go the down. Cavern. Hi, yeah, hi. What was that? We heard your... Listen, I, look, this is a short, a very nice location, but you could have mentioned before I moved in that uh, there's just a little uh, gap in the wall through which dogs are barking all the time. <gasps> <laughs> Giovanni's yeah. trying to have a little, nice little nap on his hood, and suddenly there's rah, 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 wah, 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 wah. It's very annoying for Giovanni. We didn't know that there was a, sorry, the, through which, which gap? So we'll, this is a gap in the wall here. We'll take care of it. Obviously, Gio can't fit through that. Yeah. Can I she's, fit through that? She's very greasy. <laughs> so. Yeah, I can see that. Don't come near my nose. You'll go... Poof. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no worries. Yeah. Merwin, use your greased up form. Yeah, get in the yeah. dog I'd like to go... Go through. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, is there dogs there? No, there's like three jackals, but they're like, <gasps> they're like cheesing it. Is this his lair? Okay, well, you, I've jackals. still got Loke creatures still on, uh-huh. so I'd like to like look at them and see which one is like glowing orange. <laughs> None of them. <gasps> oh my gosh. They're his mates. They're multiple jackal druids. He lives with real jackals. Or possibly one jackal druid and some real jackals. Oh, that's so much quieter. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, you want to quickly kill, kill them, Meryl? Yeah, no, <laughs> I cast animal friendship on cast kill one of them. Okay. Hey. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do oh. anything. It's not, a, not a real animal, is Wisdom it? Wisdom saving throw, please. Yeah. How are you getting on in there, Meryl? Yeah. yeah. In the jackal hole. So that's a 14. Yeah, 14. No, w- wisdom saving throw, so plus, mm-hmm. okay, 17. It, like, you see one of the jackals staring at you, and then oh. it's like, and they they leg it, 
I'd like to cast, if it's still within range, hold mm-hmm. hold person in the hope that it will work on the jackal. <laughs> Describe hold person to me. Oh, do you, she's a humanoid that you can see within range. No, <laughs> in the, uh, it must be something interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they are human, though. They're dru- dru- druids. Yeah, but they're not going to know they're druids. They're, they're shapeshifters, yeah. or they could be, you know, it could wear jackals. Reduce their HP to zero. They're either humans who can become jackals, or jackals that can become humans. Mm. We don't know <laughs> for sure which <laughs> is which. Whoa! What if Merylwen isn't a wood elf who can become an octopus, but an octopus who can become a wood elf? Well, I didn't what become an the... octopus until I had been a wood elf. For... You're on the other side um, of the time. Time travel got here. Dead to dream. <laughs> which one um, is the real master? Okay, wear? I'd like to. Cast speak with animals and yell, sit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you <laughs> speak to animals like you hear a voice. This isn't coming out as like jackal speak that your brain is then translating. Yeah. You hear a, a loud voice go in common, piss off, <laughs> and then you hear a couple go. <laughs> and they're like, they're not animals, oh, cool. Are they? Okay, so they're not animals. They're definitely not animals, so I won't feel bad uh, when I cast <laughs> spike growth in the tunnels so that they wow. can't leave. Okay. Do you have to be able to see the point in order to uh, cast it? Or? Point with a 20-foot range, uh, twenty foot radius centered on a point within range, and the range okay. is 150 feet. Ooh, all right. Yeah, you can do that. Well, here we go again, everybody. <laughs> Okie dokie. I love what you've done with the place, Giovanni. It's beautiful. And it's, uh, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's very tasteful. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, dangerous. Yeah. That's what I like Yeah, about that's it. the idea. Don't stand there. No. Uh, <laughs> it's, that's going to go off again in about two minutes. <laughs> She'll be down in there shortly, I imagine. Okay, yeah. great. I can, I can hear spell slots popping. <laughs> and look, I'm, so, I'm sorry to be, you know, like oh, contentious, no, but like, it's place. just a big move for Giovanni. You want course. everything to be just right. Yeah, you know, because this place, you know, has real promise. You know, I think I think I could be very, very happy here. What's your spell save, DC? Please, Meadow Wen. Uh, 15, I believe. Okay. So that's one jackal going 10 foot. <laughs> Another jackal. So it's fine, they'll go the back to their hold. druid form, hopefully. Yeah, and die. <laughs> two of them. <laughs> so two of them are going two foot. Okay. <clears throat> so can you roll me damage? And then we'll take out how much okay. damage those two are taking. Okay. 2d4 uh, for every five feet it okay, travels. Okay, so this is 2d4 so, doubled. Okay. So it's a four, a three, so it's seven. Do you oh, want, yeah. do you no, want no. to just do that and double it, or do you want me to roll it four times for the no, ten? No, just roll, why not? Seven. Four. So it's eleven. Eleven. And it, so it's thirteen altogether. Okay. Um, you hear s- some almighty shrieking. You can sort of hear them kind of like changing shapes. You hear like a high pitched like mm-hmm. jackal type noise that then just changes into like Nyah! Like a sort of bestial human mm. scream. You, you're not entirely certain because you can't see them because they're in tunnels up ahead of you. But uh, you know, with the keen, your keen elf hearing, you'd say that two of them are very nearly dead. Mm-hmm. They're probably just going to chill out there for a while. Cool. Hmm. Okay, you hear the skittering of claws coming towards you at first, mm. and then you hear them going away, and then you hear a um, a scream from one of the jackals that was already injured. Uh, that goes, hey, ah! <laughs> and then the further away you can hear... Okay, I'd like to go and check the spike growth and see what killed the jackal so they couldn't give us answers. You've got so you've got they're now you've got two of these things here. Um, these are jackal wares. You were so close. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, the, the other way around. They are now like kind of hybrid, like human jackals. One of them is dead. Um, yeah. And has been like driven further into the spike oh. growth, almost as if it was used as like. A stepping oh. stone. Oh. And then there's another one who's just like, just really nearly gone. Mm-hmm. Why? 
I was like, I'm gonna shout out to you guys, like, hey guys, I've yeah. got one. Oh, well done. Oh, oh well great. Done. Can, can you come She's help? really good at killing animals, <laughs> Giovanni. It's gonna not be a problem. Oh, it's amazing. That's yeah. brilliant. Loves um, to kill. If they look tasty, mm. do you maybe bring them back? Yeah. yeah so you'll get a little. Yeah. <laughs> Go and bring him back in here. What? No, could you guys come we in? We can't get through the hole. Can crack? we get through the hole? Or do we need to be greasy? Greasy. Okay. All oh. right, everyone, line up. <laughs> Fire up the greasy <laughs> <plan>. <laughs> Go <laughs> and does this spell every, <laughs> every single Ox venture. Yeah. I will and, it's, <laughs> and it's not, not super required, usually. Yeah. <laughs> And the one, the one time, 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 time we're trying to get through a small. I put out my well, hands I'm, like a garden sprinkler. Okay, I would like. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay, right. great. It's Everyone, right. come on, get in the grease. I'm sorry, Coruscant's no, don't, don't travel too quickly, otherwise, you might end up in the spring. Giovanni's going to cover his nose. Oh, Yeah, don't worry about it. Obviously, Giovanni's on your side, you know. We slide recently through the jackal hole. Out, okay, great. Please. There are a series of pops, like a bunch of corks going off, as uh, as Ugh. Oxenture is just kind of boop, 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 boop. Ugh, I slide on my just... belly like a penguin across to Merowyn. <laughs> it's Dang. adorable. <laughs> hey, what's the hats? So you'll you get kill all those dogs? dogs. I got, well, this one, they're not dogs, they're were jackals. Jackal wears. Jackal wears. Jackal wears. Yeah. That's right. I've heard hey, them. you. Yeah. Jackal wear. Right. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? What the I'm hell? Are dying. You? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? You probably feel quite silly, don't you? Why did you kill the paladin? Why did you want to get everyone to leave Mismire? Why did you get rid of kill Giovanni's the paladin? Kills? That was Richard. That Why was did Richard, Richard kill the paladin? Why, Why did Richard kill, kill the paladin? Because they were going to find out that it's not that bad here. That's uh, what we suspected. Leave. Why do you Why want do people you to, want leave? to leave? For our mistress, dum dum. Who is your mistress? Who's your mistress? Oh. Do you know nothing about jackal wares? Apparently pretty not. Yeah, yeah pretty much yeah. zero. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. I'd like to sit up and tell you, but I'm impaled on something. Why am I dying? Because well, you ran her. into my trap. Why did you set a trap? Can you dispel these because thorns? You told one? me to piss off, so. <laughs> so you did this? Disproportionate. Yeah. I've got minutes to live. All right, I, I, I let go of some... spa, spike growth. I make it disappear. Oh. It's no longer got, and I would oh. like to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, goodness. Don't cure him. No, okay, okay. Not yet. That's okay. our leverage. Okay, okay. Can I sparkle up a little healing magic on my fingers? Kiss that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it looks like a good batch job, I say, taking a little... Mm. Uh, bu- 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 I put a finger in Corazon's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <Finally. laughs> no, 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 no. Rejuvenated. No, yeah. please, Tumblr, no. Mm. Ooh, this jackal man my, is going to die. I can feel my liver cirrhosis receding. <laughs> so cold. Oh. So cold. Look. Who's your mistress? Tell us. Well... <sighs> Tell us and you can lick my fingers. <laughs> okay. Good. All jackal wears uh, uh, in service of Lamia. 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 Spell it for me, where jackal wears. L. Uh, is this really how I'm spending my final moment? L A M I A. A Lamia. Have you never heard of a Lamia? I put my fingers in the. <laughs> uh, maybe a wisdom insight check. This isn't to do with your fingers being in his mouth. <laughs> uh, that is... That anyone, is... anyone can try this, if they reckon they yeah, might yeah. reasonably have heard of have a Have I Lamia. heard of a... Yeah. I might be reasonably. You think? That's 10 minus 1 is like... Okay, so now... 16, 16. Lovely. Uh, 13. 21. Okay. Britain's you've, like, Britain's, you've met a Lamia in the past. Like, we used to go out drinking. Oh. Right. <laughs> um, oh, dear. Many of you, like those of you who rolled well, uh, know what a Lamia is. Prudence actually like knows a Lamia. They, like, they go way back. Lamia are basically um, they're large monstrosities. They're chaotic evil, so mm. you know, sure. um, and they always pick up their share of the tab, which is great. Um, but their whole deal is basically they love living in ruined, deserted cities. 
and oh. Jackal Wears are kind of like their servants <gasps> right. who are going to try and find them. Prime real estate. Yeah. It was a real estate conspiracy. conspiracy. Oh, and, okay, <laughs> they are on on the bottom. Uh, they are a, like a lion. So if you imagine like a lion all the way up to the shoulders, and then from where the neck would start, instead it's the torso of a person, and they're really hot. Like the oh. game makes a point of, of saying they have a beautiful humanoid upper body. Wow. Like, okay. There's a box out that's like, no, they're yeah. really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly not. Yeah. Yeah. not what I'm saying yeah. yeah. when I'm talking. Yeah. Major smoke show. <laughs> yep. Okay. Rock the nine pack. I mean, there's a, an entire section called Vain Predators. Wow. Oh, okay. so, oh right. <laughs> but yeah. Um, right. So, we was, you know... We saw an opportunity. We thought, that's a big place that's falling apart. Why don't we infiltrate it and find out how, well, just convince everyone to go. Mistress is happy. We're happy. And everyone's still alive. Well, Um, where is your mistress now? Well, she's not here. She's waiting for it to be deserted. I'd not just summon her when... I think I might be able to work on a city in a week or two. Well, what were you going to do after fulfilling your plan? Were you going to return somewhere, or do you summon her here? Well, I'd go find her. All right. Well, wh- how would you do that? Why would I tell you? You've, you've stopped the plan. I'm how be... many of you are there? Uh, uh, well, uh, Richard, uh, uh, Tim. Richard Jackal. Richard Jackal. Yeah, Richard Jackal. Dave. No, Dave's dead. He's oh. right here. You got no respects. Oh, be Dave, Dave. Uh, t- Tim, Edwin. Which is... Edwin. Oh, and me. Oh yeah. Okay. Edwin. Well, there's not so many Jackals. <laughs> me, Edwin. Hello. Nice Hi. To... Oh, Horrible yeah. to meet you, actually. Um, do... he said that we stopped the plan. So, job done. Yeah, but he would say but that, wouldn't he? Delamia's... If you wanted the plan to continue, he'd want us to think we'd stopped it. Right. Right. Does Delamia's give up in this kind of thing? Do they have like infinite Jackals and they're just going to keep? Your old mate Delamia, would they have given up in this situation? I think back. To my old mate, the Lamia. Odds are the Lamia doesn't even know this place exists right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jackals These are just are like a bodies. forward scouting party, yeah. uh, you know, opportunist. Well, little parasites. It doesn't. You know. Richard seems. Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, you're nearly dead. Richard okay. seems like the, the, the sort of ringleader here yeah. and the one who's taking the most active role in trying to ensure people. Oh, he's mind. a busybody, all right. And we've got to stop Richard. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think if someone can uh, send a message of some kind to. Uh, Shatter Shield and relay that they have Jackal Wares. Yeah, put out an all points bugle on this, Richard. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, Shatter Shield. Who, who's there? Who's can you, that? Can you reply in a whisper, please? <laughs> who's that? Who's that? That's nice. <laughs> it's Dob. Show I'm... yourself, Dob. No, no, I'm using a spell called Message. Where's a cantrip? I look, I'm, I'm talking to you. From beyond the grave. <laughs> <laughs> the situation is worse than I feared. You've I'm died. Just, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. Oh. Uh, I'm in the bowels of the of Mistmire. Okay. Look, here's the situation. Do you know what a Lamia is? Yes. Oh, cool. We didn't. Um, <laughs> all right. Wow. So basically, a Lamia has been sniffing out this place. That's what the Jackal connection was. Oh. Uh, for someone who knows a lot about Lamias, hope you that put that together, but never mind. Uh, so this place is basically like crawling with Jackalwares. It's like Jackalware City. Okay. Um, so the situation is, is that there's a bunch of them. Uh, Merowyn like violently killed a couple, um, but okay. Richard, Richard who delivered that petition. Um, Who's Richard? Richard, you know the the sallow. Undaunted. Oh, the Richard scraggly, Undaunted. the scraggly commoner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the one who I was like, you're gonna ask their name, and now you haven't remembered. All right. Yeah. Well, Again, with the manners check. Yeah, so it's fine. Uh, so anyway, um, basically we need to like track down. We think Richard is the ringleader. So if we can stop Richard, we can probably stop this like Lamia infestation situation. Well, what's he trying to do? He was trying to drive everyone out of Mistmire. So how? the city. How? Yes. Well, through various means, frankly, for whether it be. Uh, making the dragon uh, underneath Mistmire very unhappy, probably in a bid to make it knock over the city in a, in a rage, um, or by making sure that no one finds out that actually the city's in pretty good nick post Last Dragon Escape. You know, like, Richard's pretty smart. Richard's... That first one sounds especially bad. Yeah, it whispers. does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. Lower, please. 
Judge you. Okay. Right, you're coming too clear. In but here. if I get too, too too low, then we'll get comments about <laughs> how we sh- shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. So, basically, look, I'm just telling you what's going on. I don't really have, like, a kind of action, call to action for you here. So, just go back to whatever Could it was you were doing. points bugle for Richard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone, look, we need to find Richard. So, like, probably your paladins aren't going to manage it because they don't seem to be able to do anything good. But, like, we're going to try and do it. We'll probably do it easily. Unbelievable. But just, like, just just, <laughs> just try and find Richard, okay? All right. All right. I'll put to... out the APB myself. Exactly. You have to say over when you finish a, mes- a message, by the way. Over. Yes. You do. I don't. <laughs> okay. That's all I have to say now. Bye. Okay. Over. Oh. <laughs> Over? Oh, this is my eyes closed for a long time. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. <laughs> Brian, here. What was it, it like in there? <laughs> Lonely. <laughs> so how's, how's the shat? Has he got any plans? Uh, y- yeah, the shat is uh, 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 across the situation. Great. Problem solved then. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um... Let's find a new home for these eggs. You hear um, the APB start to go out. Um, Shatter Shield is true to his word and is putting it out himself. But uh, little known fact, Shatter Shield uh, prefers a trombone. Oh. Mm. So instead of like, Aww. it's. I'm enjoying the glissando on that. That's nice. And then just, yeah, lots of just trombone music starts playing. <laughs> Great. Lovely obbusher for a, what is essentially a crocodile mouth. Yeah. All right. Um, so. Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> so rude. Are you going to be. Sorry, I'm going to bring up his embouchure. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably also try and find this Richard because, you know, mm-hmm. Paladin orders a bit rubbish. Oh my God. Everyone going in hard on the Paladins at the moment. Oh. Sorry, Egbert. Rough. I didn't mean it. <laughs> All right, well, I cast mending on our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, where, where is, are you pinging Richard now? No, because I had to cast. Uh, what's it? So I. Get, but um, what I would quite like to do is I would like to turn into use a wild shape to turn into a jackal myself and try and sniff him out. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> um. Sure. Yeah. Make me a uh, wisdom perception check, please. Can yeah, that's a dirty it? twenty. Oh, All right. Turn into a jackal. Am I a latent jackal? Where? <laughs> You can ask him to bite you. I am going to roll a d one hundred, and if I roll one hundred. Then yes, that seems fair. Mm. Seventy nine. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Close. you get sort of just like a a, a, a red mist trail. Mm. It's kind of it's very enticing and quest like. Uh, just appears and it's a thread that will lead you to straight to Richard. Oh. All mm-hmm. right, everyone, climb on Merylwen and we'll she'll lead us to. Jackals are big, big are jackals are. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. Unfortunately, <laughs> I believe he knows exactly how big jackals are. Yeah. Are you saying you won't do it? <laughs> Can we just follow Merylwen? Yeah, let's yeah. follow Merylwen through the tunnels. Go, go, Merylwen, go. Fine. <laughs> it leads to uh, just a fairly nondescript door, um, and the smell is pretty strong on the other side. You're pretty sure, Rich, isn't there? All right. Okay. Stink out the place. All right, everyone. <laughs> on the other side of this door. Let's have it. Richard is going to be in there. We need a plan to take him out. Fast. Fast. Yeah. I'm going to hit him with all the spells, as per usual. All right. I throw open the door. I kick open the door and cast all my spells at once. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. (laughs) Right. Okay. Are we including cantrips? Yeah. Okay. Great. The first thing I cast, I'm going to go through these in the order they are in D&D Beyond. Okay. So, like, how many spell slots do you have? That's oh, am I using like all my spell slots no. at once as well? No, I think it's just every spell. It's every spell waved for once, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every spell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So first, I cast mending on Richard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I have to be touching Richard. I'm going to have to be touching Richard for a lot of these, so I'm going to make a lunge for Richard in touch. Is Richard in the room? Then we've opened the door. <laughs> what is he in there? What's happening? So what you see is um, there's a little jackal kind of asleep on the floor, and it kind of looks up. Uh, and sees another jackal and kind of goes like, mm-hmm. like, and then goes like, whoop, uh, as he realizes it's not the same. It's not the jackal he knows. And he looks up at all of you. Yeah. And he's like, whoop, and goes to run. And you okay. slap a palm on his forehead. Um, <laughs> and begin mending. I don't want to risk reaching out to try and grab Richard in case I fail. So maybe I'll just cast all my spells not touching Richard. 
or what do you think? Well, I mean, see if you <laughs> grapple him, and then if you don't, you just cast the ones that don't cast. Yeah, fine. Well, that's him. no fun. You've got, it's got to be all of them, so you've got to be touching him. So get all touching. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm going <laughs> to grab at Richard. Strength Athletics, then, please. That's, uh, I'm using my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a nine. <laughs> and that's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Richard rolled a six. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Cuddle it's that good. jackal. So it's close, but you sort of you grab yeah. him, a, like you get a hand inside, like the the haunch on his back leg. Yeah, you not know, like, like the turkey leg is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, grab yeah. that and pull him back. Cool. All right. If you get I, both, you can also pull an entire Staffordshire Bull Terrier out of a bush that way. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Good. good to know. All right, I grab Richard and mend him. Okay. Um, the... Does that stop him from being a jackal? Uh, it repairs a single break or tear in an object you touch. Okay. <laughs> okay, you fuse his hip. Good. <laughs> uh, then I message Richard. Okay. You're Check this out, Richard. <laughs> You're for it now. <laughs> what I are cast- you doing over? <laughs> now I'm casting, simultaneously, I'm casting Prestidigitation on Richard. Okay. And flavoring him uh, vanilla. <laughs> um, right. Now I cast Cure Wounds on Richard. Um, so that is a uh, regain... <laughs> Equal to 1d8. I'll send it from the first level slot. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the first. We released a dragon. <laughs> the first thing I do is restore seven hit points on Richard. <laughs> okay. Good that you're getting this out of the way before you start dropping yeah. Thunder Wave on him. So uh, you cure the persistent fungal infection he's had under his right toenail. <laughs> yes. Aww. But simultaneously, I'm casting Hideous Laughter on a jackal. This should be pretty good. <laughs> uh, got, to, got to make a. Um, Tell me a joke right now. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, Come on, you made this rod. Put it on your back. <laughs> uh, how how, do, how does a jackal lift every car at once? I don't know. You jack them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's got to make a saving throw, right? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your spell save DC? It's higher than 10, isn't it? Uh, it is 16, I think. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> Pretty funny, but also go to sleep. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I you've, think you've got to roll a bunch of d8s for that. Yeah, five d8s. <laughs> What's the? Well, I don't know what the HP is. So, uh, yeah, you start rolling as There's well. A seven. Oh god, what are you up to? Uh, I'm up to twenty-two. He's asleep. Okay. Okay. Great. Cool. All right, not for long though, <laughs> um, because now I'm going to cast Thunder Wave, and I'll cast this one fourth level spell slot. Okay. Oh wow! And he has to make a save for that, doesn't he? Uh, it is con. I th- uh, uh, yes, sorry, yeah, con fifteen. Yeah. That's a seventeen. Oh wow! Okay, cool. Um, at higher levels, damage increased by one d eight. Um, so I'm so I guess should we halve it? I'll roll in and halve it. Is yeah. That right. Cool, so he takes half of 27, which is... 14. 14. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Um, He's nearly dead. Cool, good. Well, Calm Emotions is probably... <laughs> the <third one>. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, Richard, Richard. It's going to be okay. Don't even worry about it. Now okay. I cast Crown of Madness, <laughs> uh, which has Richard attack a, tar- a humanoid of my choice that I can see within range. I... Guess that's just like probably like Corazon. <laughs> humanoid. Does it say oh, another? Does it say another hoid or another humanoid or a humanoid? One humanoid of your choice. Oh, I'm hu- Yeah, I'm humanoid. Yeah, Richard's gonna so attack me. <laughs> oh, is Richard? Oh, oh, right, right. Richard uh, is Richard in jackal. Richard's in jackal form, but he's a humanoid. Richard, attack yourself. <laughs> okay, I cast crown of madness. Richard's gonna bite his own leg. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, see. Must succeed on a wisdom saving throw of 15. Uh, t- it. Cool. Uh. Twisted, twisted crown of jagged iron appears on Richard's head. Uh, okay. And a madness blows in okay. uh, the he eyes. He has... Oh! Oh, now that's a conundrum. It was a 19 and then it flopped over to a 1. Oh. Which means that he has critically failed to bite himself. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So but he doesn't ordi- bite himself. But ordinarily I would consider... He dislocates his jaw. There we go. Yeah. It's because like, ah! <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, does Richard have any feelings? does this become harrowing? 
Uh, <laughs> 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 we yes, he does. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, sure, he's got feelings. All right, well, that's heat metal. Um, <laughs> that is... In I his dislocated jaw, we should now burn it. I don't think there's anything that, that you can do against that. Uh-huh. So I'm just going to send it for 11. Um, no, no. 11 damage. He's dead. Um, right. <laughs> Now, it's dead. It's dead. Yeah, it's but, dead. Yes, but I don't stop, do I? No, no you don't stop. stop. You're, no. You're locked in. I cast you don't shatter. Stop just because just because the jackal wear is dead. Okay. So is, sh- is speak with dead going to be your last one? <laughs> oh, I haven't done speak. Yeah. Okay. So sh- <laughs> shatter is shatter is next. Uh-huh. Presumably, like Explode into the, the corpse. corpse. Presumably, it doesn't need isn't going to roll to defend against it. <laughs> um, all right, that's fifteen. So I guess Richard's pops <laughs> in my <laughs> arms. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I like this anymore. Now I cast Major Image. <laughs> I create the image of um, a, a, a fine Richard <laughs> to briefly calm down everyone else in the room. <laughs> Richard's okay, folks. Um, then I cast Greater Invisibility on myself out of shame. <laughs> then I cast... We did Heat Metal right, so yeah. I think yeah. that just leaves. Speak with, speak with Dead. <laughs> Richard! Sorry! (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. What am I speaking to? Like a bit of matted fur? (laughs) It's just like... The jaw. It's a very... It looks like roadkill. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Richard. Why did you do that? Uh, I made a bargain to do everything I can do all at once. Did did you? Uh, Why? um, Why? Yeah! (laughs) <laughs> now, you know what, Richard? Normally, I'm the one asking the questions in this scenario, but you have just posed me a real thinker. I'm going to take that one away. I mean, so much pain. <laughs> mm, yes. No more pain where you're going. Like... No, you're not very nice, Richard, actually. So, oh, you're, cool. you're... Right, so... Is this... This Lamia is going to leave well enough al- alone now, presumably. Yeah. This much. Yes, right, good. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Is there anything I can do if you do have any last requests? Because I do feel a little. <laughs> Kill me. <you. laughs> oh, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Happy to. No further questions. You're dismissed. <laughs> I uh, well. just slide my cutlass back into, <laughs> into the scabbard where I got it about that far out. This I'm back in all forms. I'm like, you all say I'm the war criminal. Egbert's just throwing up. Yeah, fair. Mm. Wow, dog. Quite the thing. You solved the Richard problem. <laughs> what about the dog <laughs> problem? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we solve a problem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but. Ah. Oh. Is there any like now while all his spell slots are expended? (laughs) (laughs) Blessedly, blessedly, there is a a great sound outside uh, the sound of uh, leathery wings uh, beating against the wind, just like. Oh, thank goodness, something else to think about. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And there is like, there is just a roar, like, (laughs) and then you hear, hello, (laughs) who's that? Would you like to go outside this horrible yes, charnel yes. place? Yeah. I'd like to gather up all the toasty remains and give them to uh, Geo. <laughs> okay. Right. We'll see if it, do you have like a bucket? Or a... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just gather up as many loose pieces as I can. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah, you've got like a selection of just like jackal bits. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's like popcorn jackal. There you go. Jackal crackle. Yeah. Jackal crackle. That's Joanna will get used to this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you see on the on the causeway outside, the, the golden dragon has returned with it, an ice dragon you know all too well. The ice dragon is can see all of you and is not thrilled. It's like... Mm. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to go get the egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep busy. Um, um, I we have keep it? returned... As I said I would. Thank you. I have discovered the mother of the eggs that you have. Thank you so much for Mm. honoring your end of the bargain. Please go wherever you will and live fruitfully. Well, I just have one question first. How come it's been done up all nice and dwarf in there with 
hot orange liquid when I lived beneath Mistmire for hundreds of years and no one ever even did anything about the damp and the draft. I, y- you make a good point. I think you're you right. take it up with we, we agreed. <laughs> if if so we'd been Shattershield. here before, we we would have got it done for you much sooner. But we thought you might not want to stay down there having been imprisoned there for so long. And so, anyway, I live here now. Yeah. Who is that? Oh, that's, that's Giovanni. Geothermal. <laughs> you can call me Geo. It's not my real name. I'm not giving these these people my true name. What did you put on the tenancy agreement? Geothermal. <laughs> it was geothermal. Okay. That's a legal contract. Yeah, yeah. So let's say. Dragons don't have to give their true names. It gives you too much power. Right, okay. Makes sense. Well, we're on your side, Gold Dragon. Mm. Uh, We haven't been formally introduced. You you said that you wanted to go off and live free and wild in the the wild outdoors. Yes, that would be nice. How is it? And you can now. I know, I'm just a bit peeved. That's fine, that's totally understandable. What about if we offer... All our gold. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> As I understand it, I have all of your gold and it's Giovanni's gold now. Yeah. We Dob's very tired. He just did all his spells at once. He doesn't, he's not thinking straight. We, how about we go with you to wherever you want to settle and we make... We don't have to do up another dragon cavern, do we? another dragon cavern. <laughs> yes, I demand it. Like you, it's only right. totally fair. Oh, no, we're on. dragon renovators. Oh, yeah, no, I'll come with um, and also help make sure that, you know, there's, you know, enough space for the babies when they arrive and all that sort of stuff. You've got to have a nursery, dragon nursery, well, right? Well, this one Ice dragon is yeah. the one that is having mm. the... You're going to do up two new... dragon layers? No, no, they yes, we together, demand it. So they can... <laughs> the ice dragon says, I demand it. Oh. No, that one's got a really deep but, voice. I demand They're it. not a couple, Merylwen. No, I know they're not. I'm very presumptuous of you, Merylwen. Although they're very... There was a, there was a conversation about the Our fact that when he has to go off That's to true. find food, the eggs are unprotected. So we were like, that right, was, That was when to... we said, do you want to look after the eggs? He said no. And then we said, all right, we'll find the mother and she can look after the eggs. Okay. Well, by this point, presumably the eggs... In all the labour on the lady back. again. It's fine. <laughs> I, the... the can we wheel the eggs in front of the frost dragon? Because, yeah. like, priority is yeah. children returned. Children yeah. returned. We did it. Yeah. Here are your eggs. Your younglings back. We we looked after them as best we could. Yeah. And we will accept whatever reward you think is fair. Or whatever punishment. If you no, think we didn't do it. No, we <laughs> that. No. Do up my lair when <laughs> I find one. Well, whereabouts were you thinking geographically? <sighs> Not sure yet. I can help with that, you hear from over your shoulder. Uh, there is a figure standing there with uh, a hood mm. over over their face. Who Here goes we... there? Uh, the figure raises their, their hands and pushes back the hood, um, and it's a half-orc. Looks like Dob, but better. <gasps> oh! Yes, is it? I wipe myself down hurriedly because I'm covered in jackal bits and give her a massive hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you two are reunited uh, on the on the drained causeway in front of Miss Meyer, where there are two dragons and a clutch of eggs, and a third dragon who's just like poking his head out the side of Miss Meyer, being a bit sassy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it seems like the 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 quest to find a suitable ground for some dragons and any other creatures who probably want to live there is on. Yeah. When will it be on? Early next year. That's right. <gasps> it's Ox Venture Extinction, which is our next series arc, and you can see That's the poster for it right now. Dang, what a good poster. I, I know, right? But before then, well, you've got a whole bunch of live shows to catch up on. There's oh, yeah. EGX yep. and EGX MCM uh-huh. and uh, MCM again. And a whole other festive mm. special. Yeah. Mm. So MCM. it's safe to say that the future's bright and it contains a lot of Ox Venture in it. Yeah. But thank you for watching right. this one. And thank you all for, for playing and thank generally you. being great. Thank yeah. you, Johnny. Yay. Johnny, for a wonderful... Where can folks YouTube. find your great work, Johnny? Oh, youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. Yeah. What's happening, Percy? Percy. 
junior. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. Good. He's loving it. It's probably, he's Living probably life. sneaking jackal bits from, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, epilogue from geothermal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's everyone's epilogue moment? Uh, I am feeding, I squirreled away a few little bits of jackal and also squirrel. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I'm feeding them to, to Percy Junior, just tossing Lovely. them in the air and he's sort of snatching them out of, out of the air. Yeah. Meryl, well, what's your epilogue? I'm then? watching that happen and being like, oh, he does like animals. Oh. Percy Junior isn't an animal, Meryl. Uh, <laughs> my epilogue, epilogue moment is I'm going to talk to Shattershield mm-hmm. and say, thank you very much for your offer to rejoin the Order of the Dragon Door, but I'm going to stick with Lavash Mauve. I made a commitment and I'm going to stick with Lavash Mauve. Really? She looks out. Yeah, she looks out for me. All right. Egbert the... Um... Just Egbert. Thanks. Oh. It, was, um... it was good seeing you. And you. Hmm. Oh. Epilogue moment? <laughs> Epilogue moment? Uh, I'm going to keep hugging Suzette and oh. just hold her close and just say, <laughs> I'm sorry about the smell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I cast Grease so that she can escape. (laughs) 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 Uh, I'm stood atop the holiest of holy parts of the formerly sacrosanct part of uh, Miss Meyer's paladin uh, tower, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just enjoying the the no longer consecrated ground. (laughs) (laughs) There we go. All right. Well, um, I guess we'll see you soon for more adventure. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.